let's consider the sequence given by n over n plus 1. Okay. And we wrote out some terms of this sequence previously, right? We wrote out the first several. Uh, I wrote out the first one was one half and two thirds and three fourths and four fifths and so on. And this sequence is really just like an infinite list of numbers, okay? Just think about it like an infinite list of numbers. And I want a way of visualizing these numbers. So usually with we, when we have functions, we graph them, right? That's how we visualize a function is we graph it. Same kind of thing here. We're going to graph this. And really, this sequence, because it's a list of numbers, the graph is just going to be a bunch of points. Okay, so let's graph so on the x-axis you're gonna put the which term it is so like the first term second term third term and so forth and then you're gonna plot the value that you got for that term so for the first term I get one half so halfway between 0 and 1 Second term, I got two thirds, okay, three fourths, four fifths. Probably should have changed this one, make it a little higher. So, again, this isn't a function, you're not going to connect these points, okay. It's just a bunch of points. What does it look like is happening to these points as I go on further down the line? These points, so if I do another one, right? If I do five, it would be five sixths. Six, it would be six sevenths. They're getting closer to one, right? And in closer and closer to one. Okay. It looks like the numbers, numbers in the sequence get closer to one. So let's see if we can formalize that. Closer is a distance measurement, right? So I just need to take the difference between one and the terms in my sequence. And I want to simplify that. How are you going to simplify that? Get a common denominator. Okay, great. And what do I get when that simplifies? 1 over n plus 1. And now we want to think about that's the difference between 1 and the numbers in our sequence and we're looking as our numbers are getting larger right so as n gets larger what's happening to this fraction it gets closer to zero right it gets closer to zero okay so what this is telling us is essentially this idea that I'm not going to, I need to formalize this in a second, but the limit of our sequence is 1. So as I get, as the, 
n gets really large, my numbers and my list are getting closer and closer to one. Yep. I'm confused as to why we decided to subtract our sequence from one. So what I was doing, if we go back to the graph, what I was doing was I was counting, I was measuring how close these numbers were to one. So let me let me draw a a dotted line here for one. I'm measuring how close are these numbers to one. So to calculate that distance, I take one minus my number. Yeah. 